We are only speaking the actual facts We, 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 we are only speaking the actual facts Oh, 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 you're only speaking the actual facts Speaking the actual facts, the actual facts We got to do so, y'all We are only speaking the actual facts Paleontologists can't do that. So the molecular approach is better. Also, it is not. Um, also, um, the molecular approach is completely objective, only concerning itself with complete sets of genomes, holding all the biological information of an individual, all variants within the genome that appear within a population can be studied. For genomes are objective source of data that has not been defined by any particular evolutionary model. So every gen genome that we receive from this person, this person, that person is totally free of any uh, labels from outside sources. And so when you have objective data, that means that it's not influenced by what other people say. Okay. Okay. So great. All right. So let's move forward. Um, what is DNA of the mitochondria? Why is it studied? Okay. So now, now we have many breakdowns of what mitochondria DNA is. Um, the reason that they, that scientists use mitochondria, and Baba explains this in the black book and in, in, in many, many books, and we'll get into um, what the mitochondria is. But I'm giving to you the, the science insofar as why they use it to study the, the, the lineage, right? The structure of the, of the mitochondria DNA comes from a, or, or composed of two small stranded rings. So inside the, the cell of the, 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 the base, the body of the cell, you have the nucleus and then you have the body of the cell. You have DNA in the nucleus of the cell, but the new the, the mitochondria in the in the in the DNA in the, in the mitochondria of the cell, it's a self-regulating machine. So it's, it basically it converts food to energy. So it's a constant. It's it's like a source. It's like an engine that is totally indifference between the rest of the cell, meaning it doesn't need. The rest of the cells to operate, Don't be, right? It's just it, it, it lends itself its own operation, and so it's like a free thinking machine. And so the reason why they use it is because um, it's sequencing the sequencing that you have in these rings. It accumulates mutations, these particular mutations within the genes, and the mutations are recorded. And because the mutations happen faster then the cellular DNA, it can be recorded easier because there's not a long chain of, of which the mutations, in other words, the genome stretches 24,000 genomes, right? But what about the, the, the family line? How would you track mutations if they're so distant? It would take longer. So the mutations are happen more readily in the uh, mtDNA and therefore can be recorded quicker without a long sequence. And that's why you're able to get your response back on your mitochondria DNA from the bloodline, from your, your mother, right? So it says the mutations are rapid and steadily. These mutations do not alter. That's another thing. The mutations don't alter the mitochondria. So when you read the mitochondria DNA, they extract the, the mutations it doesn't alter the function of the mitochondria. Therefore, it's a, a record of the past, a complete record of the past. This is already confirmed by, this was already, um, they're already confirming what Bob has been teaching since 1967, right? Natural selection does not eliminate them. Another thing that mitochondria DNA does 
it behaves like a fast ticking clock. So if you want to keep track of something, you'd rather have a fast clock. It's like watching a video, right? And you put it on a timer, you speed it up. You can watch a movie that would take two hours. You can watch it in 30 minutes or, or an hour. Well, that's what happens with a mit with the mitochondria. It's like a fast ticking clock. So you can see how the mutations and how long they took to get to a specific genome that you have presently in your own genes. And with that, you can record how far back this gene goes. And because it's unadulterated, it doesn't change the mitochondria. It's just the best genes or DNA to use to track your lineage. Number three, geneticists can, can only concentrate on the genes that have mutated the fastest, right? Therefore, mtDNA is an ideal DNA because it gets left unchanged in time and effectively neutral in comparison. Again, this is why they use MT, why they use mtDNA. Another thing, nucleic or nuclear DNA encodes 100,000 genes. That's your nuclear DNA. Now, you know you have, how many genes do you have? A uh, total of, mm, okay, base pairs, you have a total of 21 to 20, 21,000 genes, right? Well, with mitochondria DNA, the genes that are in the nucleus, not mitochondria, nuclear DNA encodes 100,000 genes, most of the information needed to make a human being. True. Mitochondria DNA encodes only 37 genes, right? So it's easier to map with less genes, easier mapping. That's, you're not, you don't have to map nuclear DNA. Nuclear DNA is like 100,000 as you read, as we read. And mitochondria DNA, because it has 37, 13 pro, protein coding genes, 22 tRNA genes, and two RNA genes. So it's easier. Now, the properties of mtDNA. This is the mitochondria. This is for the feminine. You need this information so you can understand how the process of how the origin of human beings and you as a supreme being, the result of the genetics that was passed down from your ancestors that put your genes or seed in the waters in Antarctica and in the Indian Ocean. We'll go into that, um, how you came out of water. This is different from the Adamites. Those that are listening, we're not, we, those that are listening that are new, we're not addressing the Adamites creation, the Caucasoid creation, Adam's creation. We're going to address it, but that this is not the topic that um, in, 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 in base, right? This is addressing the creation of an older race that scientists now acknowledge existed on the planet for millions of years prior to this 6,000-year-old creation of Genesis of the Genesis story that's outdated now. So we're going to try to make create the, the links there. So the properties of mtDNA, right, it's, it's present. It's a high copy number in human cells. The average somatic cell has just two copies of any given nuclear gene and DNA, um, DNA segment, but hundreds of, of thousands of copies of mtDNA, 123, right? Making it easier to obtain for analysis. So that's the property of the mtDNA. Another property of it is mitochondria DNA. It's uniparental, uniparental in, in inheritance and is one of the great advantages of, right? Uh, the, one of the great advantages of having it it enables researchers to trace related lineages back through time, highlighting the maternal ancestry of a population. There you have it. So another, that these are the properties, right? Another property is lacks of, lack of recombination, meaning MTA DNA does not undergo a recombining. So it, it literally remains un uncombined from parent to parent, I mean, parent to child. And because the molecules um, are, the, are the same during reproduction, they don't exchange like uh, uh, nuclear DNA. Nuclear DNA recoils 
right, uncoils itself within the cell. This is if you look at DNA within the cell right now, it is an uncoil. It looks like a bunch of tubules that look unconstructed. It's only when they exchange where the chromosomes create the thread of the double helix. And then the two stems at the central mirror exchange and you receive 23 from parent from each parent. The mitochondria doesn't can recombine itself. So it's easier to um, analyze as well. So I'm just giving you the properties of mtDNA and why geneticists use it in order for you to know your bloodline or genetics, not you to know, well, yeah, you to know, as well as geneticists that study your lineage will know how this these markers are obtainable. We are only speaking the actual Thanks for joining the Actual Facts Podcast. We, 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 we if you enjoy these the lectures, fact. please feel free to check out previously recorded episodes. Just click the link in the window and please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. We are only speaking the actual facts.